All right, so first up, we're gonna start here with the 1934 Walking Liberty Half Dollar. By the way, this is one of my favorite design coins of all time. This and the Morgan Dollar, definitely my favorite. All right, so we have a D mint mark, an S mint mark, and a no mint mark. And that is going to take place there on the reverse of the coin as we see in those images. Now, for the S mint mark, here's an example of a 1934 S Walking Liberty half dollar, but it is only graded at an extra fine 45. So definitely not the lowest grade in the world, but definitely not a mint state grade either. So the coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 45. So this coin only sold for around 45 bucks. Again, we see that S mint mark there on the reverse of the coin. And if we look at the high graded version of that coin, we go from you know a $45 coin to over a $28,000 coin. Having a coin like this in this condition, super, super rare. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. So that is what's going to give the coin its value is that condition, the grade of the coin. So $28,000. Now here's an example of a 1934. Now this is graded at an AU58, so not too bad of a grade, but the coin only sold for a little over $75. But again, if we look at that high graded version of the 1934, no mint mark, this is graded at a mint state 68, nearly a perfect grade. And this silver half dollar sold for over $6,700, over a $6,000 coin. Now on the 1934D, there is a large D and a small D. Here's an example of the small D. You know, it's not super rare, but the small D is definitely a more scarce variety. So here's a 1934D with the regular large D. It is graded at an extra fine 45. It's not in the best condition as we see. And this coin sold for around $35. But if you look at the high graded version of that coin, the 1934D graded by PCGS at a mint state 67, this coin sold for over $16,000. Here's another 1934D graded at an extra fine 45, but this coin here has been cleaned. So never clean your coins. It only sold for around 50 bucks. So definitely never clean your coins because it will always devalue them. Now, check out these other Walking Liberty half dollars that are worth money. 1945D Walking Liberty half dollar. Now, this coin here is graded at about 53. So it doesn't have the highest grade. It's not a mint state grade, but it's definitely not the lowest grade either. The coin grading scale goes from one to 70. 70 being the highest, so this is at a 53, so not too bad. But this coin here only sold for around $15. If we go to the same exact coin, this coin here is graded at a mint state 68. So almost a perfect grade. A perfect grade would be a mint state 70. So this is a very valuable coin. It's got some awesome toning to it as well. This silver half dollar coin sold for over $16,000. By the way, if you don't know where the mint marks are on these coins, if we zoom in here on the reverse, you can see that D mint mark right there. All right, next up is a 1945. Actually, this is a 1946, but we'll just keep it in this video. How about that? It is a double die reverse. It is graded at a fine 15, so a very low grade on this coin. But still, if it was uh, in better condition, it would sell for a lot more. This coin does have a double die reverse, so always look for doubling on the back of these coins. This coin here sold for over $40, but it wasn't even supposed to be in this video, but we'll just move on. Actually move on to a real 1945 double die reverse, not a 1946. This coin here sold for over $90, and we can see that it's graded at a mint state 64. So always look out for doubling on the lettering on the back of a coin as well as on the eagle. Next up is a 1945 error coin. Boy, would I love to come across something like this. This is a super, super valuable coin. It has been double struck with the second strike being 55% off center. We can clearly see that there in the images displayed. This coin here sold for over $41,000. $41,000 error coin. Now if we go to another error coin here, this is just a planchet crack taking place here at the bottom of the coin. If we zoom in there, we can see that, but the coin is graded at a mint state 65. It is in excellent condition. The coin still only sold for a little over $70. 
Next up is the 1945 No Mint Mark. Now this one does not have any types of errors, it's just got that high grade of a Mint State 67, and because of that high grade, this coin here sold for over $8,000. Now if we look at the same exact coin that is graded at about 58, this coin here only sold for $30. So we go from a $30 coin to an $8,000 coin just because of the condition of the coin. So that is very important when uh, you know getting a coin's price or a coin's value. The grade condition is, in my opinion, the number one factor of a coin's value. Next up is a pretty cool coin. I've talked about this on other coins. So if we zoom in here to the back of this 1945, you can see that there are no initials. There's supposed to be AW initials there. So here is an example of having no initials. Here's an example of having the initials. So this coin here does not have the AW initials. It is graded at a mint state 64. And because of that high grade and missing the initials, this half dollar sold for over $700. Next up is another super valuable coin. This one is a 1945 half dollar that was struck on a 10 cent planchet. So essentially a 1945 half dollar struck on a dime. As you can see the whole design does not fit on a dime planchet. And this coin here sold for over $41,000 as well. A $41,000 coin. Next up is the 1945S. Now this one's got some awesome toning to it. It's a San Francisco minted Walking Liberty half dollar graded at a mint state 67. So because of that high grade, this coin here sold for over $37,000. $37,000. Now if we look at the 1945S that's graded at about uncirculated 58, this coin here only sold for a little over $30. So big difference in uh, the grade there. Here's also a 1946 no mint mark that was graded at about uncirculated 58 as well. And this coin here only sold for a little over $35 because it's not that mint state grade. These are how many they made in 1942. You have a no mint mark, a D mint mark, and an S mint mark. Over to the right is how many they produced of each. So you see the 1942 no mint mark, they produced over 47 million, and then 10 million of the D mint mark, and 12 million of the S mint mark. So a lot less for the D and the S mint mark. Now just to show you some different prices depending on the condition of the coin. If we look here, this is a 1942D half dollar coin. Now it's graded at about uncirculated 58. You can see that it's not in the best condition, but it's in pretty decent condition. But the coin only sold for $38. If we look at this next coin, same exact coin, 1942D, however it's graded at a men's state 68. So that is going to give it a lot of value. And this thing has some incredible toning to it, as you can see here in the images displayed. Now the D mint mark on the back, you can see it there as we zoom in. That is where the mint mark is going to be for the 1942 D and S mint marks. So this coin here sold for over $11,000. Now. Also, for the 1942D, you want to look for a repunched mint mark. Here are a few examples of that. You can see how the D mint mark has been repunched. If you want to see your coins like this, you can get a USB coin microscope right now on couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description below. Here is that 1942D that has that RPM, that repunched mint mark. And this coin here sold for over $185. And it also sold for that price because it is graded at a mint state 65 as well. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This is at a 65. All right, so for the 1942, you also want to look for doubling. As you can see here on the outline of the face, the chin there, you can really see there on the neck, that is a double die obverse. So there's doubling taking place that's visible on the Liberty's chin and the gown folds as well. So always be on the lookout for that. Here is that coin that has that double die obverse and this silver half dollar coin sold for over $140. Now for the 1942, you also want to flip it over to the back on the reverse of the coin and look for doubling on the reverse as well. So we can see doubling on the lettering of the back of the coin. So here is a couple examples of that. 
This coin here is graded at an extra fine 45, so it's the lowest grade that we've looked at in this video. So it's not in the best condition, still a pretty decent coin, and it's awesome because it's got that double die reverse. Now this coin here sold for over $100. But if we look at the same coin that has a double die reverse that is graded at a mint state grade, a mint state 63, this coin sold for over $275. So $175 more just because of the condition of the coin. Here's a 1942 error coin. This is pretty cool here. This error coin here sold for over 760 US dollars. 760 bucks. Right now if we look at the 1942 no mint mark, this is graded at about uncirculated 58. It only sold for $40. But if we look at the same coin, the 1942 no mint mark at the mint state grade, mint state 67, this coin sold for over $3,500. So $3,500 compared to $40, huge, huge difference uh, because of the grade of the coin. Now here is another error coin. This is a 1942 Walking Liberty half dollar that was struck on a 25 cent planchet. So essentially this half dollar was struck on a quarter is the uh, easiest way to explain it. It weighs 6.2 grams. As you can see the whole design of the coin of the Walking Liberty half dollar does not fit on this coin planchet and this coin here sold for a whopping $13,000. That's right $13,000. Could you imagine having that? That is crazy. Next up is a 1942 proof Walking Liberty half dollar. So this 50 cent piece here is pretty awesome. Absolutely love it. You can see how shiny it is and uh, the toning of it is again amazing. I, it is just incredible. This is by far the most valuable coin in this video. This half dollar coin sold for over $22,000. $22,000. Now if we look at the S, the 1942S, here's an example of a 1942S Walking Liberty half dollar that has the grade of an about uncirculated 58. This coin here only sold for a little over $30, but if we, again we look at the high graded version of the 1942S, this is graded at a mint state 67 and because of that this coin actually is the most valuable coin of the video. This coin sold for over $47,000. 47000 I would imagine there are not many of the 1942S graded at a mint state 67. That is incredible. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.